and your Friday fishing report. We're gonna start up at Willow Beach, the top of Mojave. The striper bite is on. Same thing as last week. Jerk baits, glide baits, and swim baits seem to be the call. Also, get them from shore on the anchovies. So if you're soaking anchovies, salted anchovies seem to be the ticket. We also had another trout stocking, so there's plenty of trout there. People are getting easy limits from right around the boat ramp where the fish were stocked. You can get them on pretty much all your typical basic trout baits, which would be power bait, the rooster tails, the meps, uh, panther martens, night crawlers, and small little jerk baits. There's also some trophy sized trout being released with those, so you'll try your luck at that. Now moving further down, into the Catherine's Landing and Princess Cove area. Largemouth and smallmouth bite has slowed off the last couple of days. The lake has got a little bit stained and it has about half of the clarity that it had before. So these fish have moved. Um, they are spread out and, 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 and kind of in a transition with this dirtier water and the low, lower light conditions. We are seeing a few of them on the secondary points, crankbaits, and also worms in brighter colors to deal with that stained water. It seems to be the trick on a drop shot or net rig. And that bite has slowed down, still picking them off and getting them. So don't give up on the large mouth and small mouth. However, there is one hot bite on the lower end of the lake out of the Catherine's Landing area. Plenty of people catching the striped bass by trolling jerk baits and large swim baits all around the dam area, all the way up through past, past Princess Cove. You can also get them from shore, so can salt and anchovies. A lot of guys are getting them from the shore as well, right off the back of the dam there, so get out there and fish. The majority of those are coming in in the night and early morning hours, also in the late afternoon, but the day seems to slow down a little bit with the extra boat traffic that we're getting due to Lake Mead being hard to access for a lot of boaters. Now, moving on down south of Davis Dam, from Davis Dam south in the Laughlin and Bullhead area on the river. That bite is still happening for the striped bass. Uh, hit and miss in some of the areas, so you just have to spend a long time either drifting or moving spots if you're fishing from the shore. We've been getting them on white and black jerk baits or solid white jerk baits and white swim baits seem to be the ticket and also the hot pink trout pattern swim baits are working for us on our drift trips. Now, the smallmouth are actually biting on that section of the river as well. A lot of the smaller size fish in that 10 to 13 inch range. There's also going to be some trout stocking, so look for some trout out there on power bait, meps, and rooster tails. Weather. Got to be careful. So starting on Sunday, Monday, and all through next week, we're expecting monsoon activity. Now we got caught out in the monsoon yesterday on a guide trip when the forecast said it was going to be clear. An hour later, we had to rescue Elijah in the drift boat and our clients due to the crazy thunderstorms and lightning. So please be careful out there. Keep your eye on the weather. If you see dark skies or hear thunder, get off that water immediately. These storms have been pretty gnarly out there and it's just not safe to be out there. Uh, also, look for the forecast and if you can get out on either the lake or the river just prior to when those monsoons are coming or that low pressure moves through, it is kicking off a bite. It just seems like we've been out there every day on the, both the river guiding in the morning and fishing the lake in the afternoon. Right before these fronts are coming through, we are getting bit and the bite seems to get hot for that hour. So if you can time that, you're gonna have a little bit of treat for yourself. So you can support this channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing, or buying any of our handmade baits and our hand poured plastics at this web address here. We appreciate the support we've been getting. Again, if you're ordering swim baits, please allow a few days for those to go out. We are really backed up on those orders. Anything else is pretty much going out the same day. We definitely appreciate the support. So again, please like, share, and subscribe. Happy fishing, and we'll see you next week.